if you're going to be doing any kind of work on your photos here inside of Photoshop, you're generally going to be using adjustments. Well, in these next few videos, you're going to learn about adjustment layers. And if you're going to be doing adjustments inside of Photoshop, this is the way that you got to go. And I want to show you an example why. I'm going to go up to the image menu down to adjustments, and you'll see all the various adjustments we have here. I want to go with hue saturation because I want to change the color of the ropes here. But I don't want to just change the hue, which changes everything of all the colors. What I really want to do here is just change the reds. So I'm going to switch master down to reds here. Just drag this to the right. Maybe we'll make them a greener color here. Okay. Now I'm going to click OK. And what happens is I've just made a permanent adjustment to my photo. If somebody later, and I, I save this image and I close it. All right. If somebody later changes their mind and says, I don't want green, or I change my mind and I don't want green, I better hope I've saved a copy or a duplicate of the original file, okay? Because I won't be able to go back. That's the thing, though, is that's a pain in the butt. You don't want to save multiple versions of your, your files because it gets confusing. So that's where adjustment layers come in really handy. So I'm going to undo here. And adjustment layers are a special kind of layer. We can get to them under the layer menu down to new adjustment layer. And you'll see a lot of the same options that we have here are very similar to what we had in the image menu. Okay, but there's an easier way to get to adjustments and it's new inside of CS4. Uh, it's in the adjustments panel. If you don't see that panel, just go down to window adjustments and you'll see a panel that holds all your different adjustments inside of here. And the icons are kind of a little cryptic at first, but as you get used to it, you'll start to figure out like I know this is hue saturation. So I'm going to click on it. As soon as I click on it, watch what happens in the layers palette. See what we just got here. This is an adjustment layer. So what I'll do now is, is change the same thing I did before. I'll go to reds. I'll change the hue. All right. And then I can switch tools. I can switch over to my selection tool. I can switch layers. I can click on the background. Layer. I can continue to work and do all the things that I normally do inside of Photoshop. Over here is this little adjustment layer. It's the same thing that was created when we clicked on it. All right. Well, if I decide later I want to change something, all I've got to do is click on the adjustment layer and look at what it does. It opens up the hue saturation adjustment, which by the way, notice how it opens it up in this little panel over here instead of a new dialog. This is pretty cool. This is a step in the right direction because it's taking dialogs out from within our right in front of our face and it's giving us a nice area to work with the adjustments. And you can even make it bigger if you want. There's an icon down here for expanded view versus the collapse view. Honestly, the collapse view usually works fine for me, but I digress. Let's get back to the adjustment layer. So remember we changed it to green. What did we do? We went under reds and look at what we have here. It's remembered the setting that I changed it to before. So if someone changes their mind, I can change the setting. Maybe we want to go with more of an orangey or kind of a yellow color. I can do that because it's all being remembered in this hue saturation adjustment layer which is different than a permanent change because it's a layer. It's got an eyeball icon, which means I can turn it off. I can turn it back on. It's got an opacity setting, which means I can drop the opacity if I need to. All right. I can even drag this to the trash can if I want. You can do it right from within the adjustment panel just by clicking on the trash can or like any other layer, you can click on it and you can drag it right into the trash can. It's never permanent and that's the nice thing about this because as long as I save it, like everything else as a PSD file, I'll always be able to come in here, add an adjustment layer, make a change, do something else. Maybe I'll even come back, click this little left arrow button. Maybe I'll even come back and add another adjustment. Maybe we'll add a little bit of a curves adjustment here. Okay, and now I've got multiple adjustment layers. I've got a hue saturation and a curves, but none of these are permanent. All right, they all are layers on top of the original photo, so I don't have to save versions. I don't have to save backup copies. I can come inside of here and I can make changes to these things no matter when I'm coming back into Photoshop, whether it's one week, a month, or a year down the line, these adjustment layers are always going to be flexible. Now, that's kind of just the tip of the iceberg because having the flexibility is cool, but in the next few videos, we're going to see where we can really kick this one up a notch and take it to the next level.